What's up guys? Welcome back to another Star Wars collection video update. Now, I've just gotten two new additions to the collection. I got my cats playing in the box already. You son of a bitch. Now, <clears throat> before we get started, let me show you the two new additions. First one, Star Wars The Black Series Centerpieces, Kylo Ren. Now, this is amazing. Now, you know all the Black Series boxes, right? This is absolutely insane. It comes with the Black Series Kylo Ren with a nice deserty background with flaming flames, a lighting up lantern, and the blue bolt glistering in the light. It is absolutely fantabulous. And I redid the entire, well, not the entire, but some parts of the shelf. So let's go ahead and turn the lights on real quick. And the first thing I'll show you is the new Funko section. Now, some of these aren't Star Wars Funkos, but we do need a place to store the Funkos anyway. So I got the Star Wars ones up here, Palpatine, Snoke, Enfy's Nest, and Cat Fisto. We got some of the other Funkos in the background with some Star Wars lined up on the backdrop right there. So that's pretty Kool-Aid. So now let's go ahead, go down to the new section. There is the centerpiece. So let's go ahead and turn it on real quick. So as you can see, I took a few Black Series out of the box and kind of made a little scene going on right here. So I kept General Grievous, Dryden Voss, Darth Revan, and Kylo Ren in their box. And I took out Captain Rex, Phasma, First Order Stormtrooper, and Death Trooper. And I'm just having them do a little scene over here. So, you know, I've got some, you know, shenanigans going on here. Some silly shit. Got a little land speeder right here. And we got Captain Rex shooting his pistol that's getting frozen by Kylo Ren. That just looks amazing. So that's pretty cool. This whole shelf section right here is going to be like a Black Series kind of area. The thing that was here... You notice some of these sections are really, really old. And a lot of the pieces we have are really, really old. And that's what makes them cool and valuable is that they're old. But they don't look as cool as this. So like this looks cool, but you know, everything in here is probably worth about $200. There, this is probably $500 worth of fucking bullshit ancient. All the McDonald's toys, you know, tons of ancient stuff from... You know, 1999 and 2000s, all this stuff. So I'm kind of modernizing a few parts of this shelf. So we got that scene going on right here. And I am now going to show you the newest addition to the collection. So let's go ahead and close this up real quick. And I will show you the new piece that I got that we will be trying to implement into this little section, which is another centerpiece just like the kylo ren one except it's darth vader now he is busting down the goddamn door after he sliced through it now this is um him breaking the doors on the tent of four i don't know if it's a rogue one or just episode four thing but you know we never see him really do this but it is absolutely amazing number one in the line of black series let's look at this box real quick so it doesn't come with any stormtroopers, but you can find these Black Series stormtroopers. But they're about thirty dollars for an archive edition, which is a a pretty penny for a single figure. My first order stormtrooper was like twelve dollars, so I'm not sure how many I'll be getting of that. But Darth Vader looking epic. This little blaster bolt explosion is going to be pulsing with light. The entire rim of the door, this orange bit, is going to be lighting up as if it was just cut by a lightsaber. And then the very end of it, you know, the cooling off is going to be lighting up. I wish the lightsaber lit up, but that's probably a little tricky. So, we got all the stuff taken out. Uh, Darth Vader looks a little goofy right now. But um, we're going to assemble him and everything. We got all the doors. Now, these things are a lot bigger than what I thought they would be. When I saw these pictures, I thought they were going to be like three inches across, four or five inches across maybe. But these things are humongous. Let's take a look one more time. This thing is absolutely huge. It takes up 
33% of this shelving. And you know, this shelving isn't exactly that long to compare it. You know, we could fit maybe two boxes not even two boxes across. So it's not that big of a shelving, but you know, this thing is amazing. You know, I, it's, I'm glad it is this big, LOL. So that's gonna be wicked insane. So this Darth Vader one we're gonna assemble and uh, I'll show you some videos and clips of what it looks like a little bit later when it's implemented into the shelving. So that's gonna be awesome. As far as this stuff was going, remember how I had the black series going on right here. So right now, I'm at least keeping the boxes of the ones that I took out because that's the one thing I love about these black series is the boxes are just absolutely amazing. You know, I don't really plan on putting the characters back in here, but for now, I'd like to keep the boxes and maybe black series figures that I don't wanna put in there, I can put up here. So we'll see about that. And I used to keep all the Funkos right here on the desk over by the PlayStation area. Um, but right now, just got a few little knickknacks and shit over here. And we've got plenty of room for Funkos. Just absolutely amazing. We only have four Funko Star Wars ones, so I'm gonna be getting a lot more Star Wars Funkos. So don't you worry about that. Let me show you the Cantina again. Cantina will always be my favorite part of this Star Wars shelf because there's so much going on. Every piece in here is just, you know, hand placed and just, it has a purpose. The Stormtroopers playing the arcade, niggas be getting drinks and shit, Jabba the Hot Slave. Uh, we got the uh, Fallacious Crumb back there, the Skiff Guards, Bib Fortuna. We got some bounty hunters in the fucking background. We got Bosk up in there. You know, all the creepy bitches, we got Greedo, the wolf bitch, all the fucking dancers and everyone having a great ass time. Tons of cool stuff is going on in this shelf. So, that's the newest additions. I got the two new Black Series centerpieces. And I went ahead and just reorganized, kind of remodeled the Funko section. As well as I'm putting in a Black Series section to make some just awesome scenic areas. And it's just going to look amazing. I'm going to have to push all this stuff a little bit to the right to fit in Darth Vader. But either way, we're going to find out what we're going to be able to do. Maybe we'll take one of these bottom sections, clear it out. You know, we got a lot of clutter in here, but that's how it goes up in here. So thank you so much for watching this new Star Wars collection video. Shout out, Kit Fisto. All right, guys. So we finally assembled the, dark se the Black Series Darth Vader. It looks pretty cool. There's only two light sources, the doorway cut in half and the blaster bolt. Looks pretty cool. Uh, it's pulsing red every, every uh, couple seconds. So that looks really nice. Uh, the Kylo Ren one has a few more lights. It has uh, one, two, three, this one. It's just these two, but you know, it looks really awesome. It looks fucking scary how he's just breaking down this goddamn door to the tent of four. So, Pretty cool, a lot of blaster bolt uh, marks on the door too. Pretty good detail. Darth Vader looks nice. Looks pretty cool. So I'll probably have to get some stormtroopers to go alongside with this or I don't know, some dead rebels in the background. But as a whole, he looks pretty cool. Uh, these things are really, really cool. There's like five different Black Series centerpieces. There's a Kylo Ren one, Darth Vader, a Rey, a Luke, um, and I'm pretty sure there's another one. So these are pretty cool. I might be collecting some of these. It's a nice change from the Black Series boxes uh, and figures. So this is going to go really cool with the shelf. So we're going to go ahead and try to make some room for him in the Black Series section. And we're going to see how that looks in just a minute. All right, guys. So I went ahead and implemented him into the shelf. So let's go ahead and turn these lights on. And let's take a look here at what I did. So it's already getting a little crammed in here, but that's okay. It's able to fit two centerpieces. So for the Darth Vader one, I'm having it face towards us. That way, um, let's see, maybe I can turn it a little bit. Just a little bit so we can see a little bit more of the door. But I got a Death Trooper standing right there because I totally forgot. A lot of these things aren't really in the right era. You know, it's really just... Captain Phasma, Stormtrooper, and Kylo Ren that are like belonging together. 
Um, but Death Trooper goes well with Darth Vader. So that is really cool right there. I kind of put um, an angle on this scene a little bit. But you still got Rex shooting his pistol, getting frozen by Kylo Ren. Got some droid action going on over there. Got a little SE-44C whatever pistol right there. Just a little battle damage and everything. Got a trooper right there. Um, I think this is really cool. Death Trooper and Darth Vader looking savage as hell. So this whole section is going to light up at night. And it's going to be really cool. Let's turn the lights off real quick. You know, it's just going to be really, really cool. So, yep, that is the newest additions to the Star Wars collection, the two Black Series centerpieces. Thank you so much for checking up on this amazingness. Shout out, Kit Fisto.